डीसी मोटर अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर विल एक्सपीरियंस अ फोर्स व्हेन प्लेस्ड इन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिस इज ड्यू टू इंटरेक्शन ऑफ अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बिकॉज ऑफ करंट एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू मैग्नेट यू हैव टू फॉलो द फॉलोइंग फिगर यू कैन सी अ कंडक्टर ए बी placed in a magnetic field due to permanent magnet you can see field lines going from north to south and current is uh, going from positive terminal to negative the red arrow is showing the direction of current now in this conductor ab current is flowing from a to b and you can use right hand grip rule to determine the direction of magnetic field due to current flowing from a to b and the field is circular this magnetic field due to current interact with magnetic field due to permanent magnet you can see green lines going from north to south this is the direction of uh, magnetic field due to permanent magnet so the two magnetic fields interact and the conductor ab experience a force acting downward direction of this force can be determined using fleming's left hand rule this is fleming's left hand rule and you can see all three fingers are making 90 degree to each other the first finger this first finger will point out in the direction of magnetic field which is from north to south the second finger will point out in the direction of current and thumb will give you the direction of motion so using this principle we can design a simple dc motor here in this dc motor you can see a coil placed between two poles of a permanent magnet you can see split ring commutators these commutators move along with the coil uh, these commutators are connected with the coil so they move along with the coil carbon brushes provide connection between commutators and external circuit this is positive in of the supply and current will flow from positive to negative you can see red arrow going from positive and entering the coil side ab of uh, the coil according to fleming's left hand rule will experience a force acting downward and the side cd according to fleming's left hand rule experience a force acting upward these two forces produce a torque which moves the coil in clockwise direction in half cycle the current is entering the brown commutator and leaving through the green commutator in next half cycle when the coil move and take half turn the next half cycle the green commutator will come to your uh, positive side 
now current is entering this way and the brown commutator will come to the other side and we can say the direction of current is reversed initially for the first half cycle the current is entering through the brown commutator now current is entering through the green commutator so direction of current is reversed so initially the side cd is experiencing force upward so when it come to the side of ab it will come it will experience force in downward direction so this way the coil keep on rotating so commutators reverse the direction of current and the coil keep on rotating let me point out the important points abcd is a coil you can see in the figure placed inside a magnetic field due to a magnet current in ab and cd part of the coil is in right angle to the magnetic field by fleming's left hand rule the side ab experience a force downward the side cd experience a force upward this create a turning effect in clockwise direction split ring commutators are connected to each end of the coil these commutators rotate with the coil since these are connected with the coil so they move along with the coil carbon brushes are connected with commutators allowing current to pass through the coil so carbon brushes provide connection between external circuit and commutators these commutators as i pointed out earlier reverse the direction of current and uh, the coil keep on rotating in one direction you can improve uh, this dc motor in three ways first of all improve means okay, you can make this dc motor move faster in three ways you can increase the strength of uh, magnetic field one way second is use a larger value of current to pass through the coil and increase number of turns of uh, the coil 